In this video, I want to talk about supercharging your trading. I want to talk about the missing link. I want to talk about the things that some of you uh, probably already know and some of you might be missing. Um, and guys, that's going to be intermarket relationships and using the dollar index, the bonds, as well as the other stock indices uh, to see what the market is up to. I'm just going to add the YM on there as well. Actually, I'm going to add the micro YM because, you know, maybe one day I'll actually trade it. Probably not, but anyways. Guys, there are three uh, market relationships I want to talk about, and that's the stock indices with the bonds, the stock indices with the dollar index, and the stock indices with each other. So when you are trading the futures market, um, if you really want to know where the market is going, you need to you need to correlate the markets with one another. That's what professionals do. That's what the big boys do, and that's what you should be doing as well. So the first intermarket relationship that I want to talk about is going to be the most important one. I'm going to lead off with the most important intermarket relationship, and that is with the dollar index. Okay, guys, you need to be watching the dollar index and have an idea of what it's doing if you want to know where the stock indices are going or where they're likely to go. Guys, stocks are priced in dollars, uh, meaning that ultimately everything goes back to the dollar index. Um, the market moves, generally speaking, uh, in a strongly inverse correlation with the dollar index. When the dollar index is plummeting, stocks are going up. And when the dollar index is rising, stocks are probably going down. Okay, that's because stocks are priced in dollars, and we have, uh, even though you know we have high inflation, and even though the dollar generally loses value over time, we do have periods where the dollar is increasing in value, and that's generally when the stocks are going down. Okay, so for example, we have a sell set imbalance, buy set inefficiency that price is probably going to trade through this inefficient price delivery, and we're going to start to see a little bit of a retracement in stocks. So you know, for example, if you're looking at this. If you're looking at a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency in the middle of price, you can expect that we're probably going to trade through that and probably trade higher, I mean, all the way up to 103.967 or 104.097 or even up into this inefficient price delivery here. So we're probably going to have a big rally in the dollar index. And what does that mean for stocks? Well, we're probably going to have a retracement in stocks. Stocks have been going uh, up this week a lot. The futures, the S&P 500 futures are up. Uh, almost like 200 handles, almost 200 handles. So when you are looking at, at the dollar index, just remember it's an inverse correlation with what the stocks are doing. When the stocks are going down, dollar's probably going up. When the dollar is going up, stocks are going down. And this is the first inverse correlation with the stock market uh, that you should be aware of. Okay, you should be tracking what the dollar index is doing. That's the first intermarket relationship that you need to be watching as a day trader or even as an investor, but really we're going to talk, just talk about day trading. When you're a trader in securities uh, and in securities derivatives like futures, Section 1256 contracts, uh, you need to be watching what the dollar index is doing. The second intermarket relationship that you should be aware of that is generally inversely correlated with the stocks, the bonds, guys. So the symbol on your trading view is going to be ZB. That's the 30-year bond. Generally speaking, when the bonds are going up, the stocks are going down. Not as strong of a correlation uh, as with the dollar index, but the, the uh, correlation is still there. Okay, so if you see that the dollar index is rising, the bonds are rising, you're probably going into a risk-off environment for a period of time, and the stocks are probably going down. Okay, so the, the next asset that you need to watch, other than the Dixie, which is the DXY, is you need to watch the ZB or the 30-year bond. You could also watch the ZN, which is the 10-year bond. Uh, but I'd recommend just the 30-year bond. So our first intermarket relationship to supercharge our trading that we have to be watching is the dollar index. That's the first and most important inverse correlation with the stocks that you need to watch. The second intermarket correlation that you need to uh, watch for the stock market is you need to watch the bond market. You need to see, all right, if the bonds are going up, that means we're probably in more of a risk-off environment for whatever reason now, so probably the stocks are about to go down or they're already going down. Third intermarket relationship is with the stock indices themselves. So we take a look at what the micro ES is doing, and, and you can pull it up in a separate tab. And you pull up, for example, let's see, we pull up the micro ES, and we pull up the micro NASDAQ. 
This is where we're going to find our breaks in correlation. We're going to find our smart money technique or our smart money divergences. Um, we're looking to see which one is the bullish leader, which one is the bearish leader. Um, again, this is this is the least important, in my opinion. The first, the, the biggest priority that you always have to be watching is the dollar index or the Dixie. Uh, second most important is going to be the bond market. Third most important that you don't really need, but but it's an advantage if you do look at it, is uh, intermarket correlations with the stock indices themselves. So you, you reference the ES against the NASDAQ and against the YM. So for example, the YM is already on its way down. Um, the NASDAQ is, is not coming down as quickly. So we have the YM, which is kind of leading us on the way down. Uh, and then you can also look at the Russell 2000. Okay, so you can look at your intermarket relationships in the stock indices. Um, you generally don't, don't need to look at the Russell 2000. You should be looking at the NASDAQ and the ES and probably also the YM, okay? Um, and one of those is going to be your bearish leader. I'm actually just going to outright put the futures contract on there. Yeah, MYMU. Okay. So, anyways, guys, these are your intermarket relations that you need to watch in order to supercharge your trading. First priority, dollar index. Second priority, the bonds. Third priority, intermarket relations between the stock indices to see if you have a smart money technique divergence, which one's your bearish leader and which one's your bullish leader or bearish laggard, bullish laggard. And those are your intermarket relations that you really need in order of priority in order to supercharge your trading. I hope that you found this information useful. I hope that you, know, you actually go out and implement this information, especially watch that dollar index. And uh, bye-bye, guys.